first, from Shameless Silk and Strindberg to a haunting Mara Hindley via a role in Dinner Ladies with Victoria Wood, it may come as a surprise that actress Maxine Peake has turned her talents to electronica with music collective the Eccentronic Research Council. Their latest concept album tells the tale of the Pendle Witches, a subject close to Maxine's heart. Elizabeth Southerns, Elizabeth Devis, James Devis, Alison Devis, Anne Whittle, Anne Redfern, Jane Bocock, John Bocock, Catherine Hewitt, Isabel Roby, Margaret Pearson and Alice Nutter. The Pendle Witches were a group of people from Pendle and Lancashire who were accused of witchcraft. And they were just local people who were mainly very poor uneducated and who dealt a little bit in the you know selling of herbs and potions for illnesses they were just women and men just trying to get by i'm from lancashire from bolton so we always knew they were the witches from over the hill you know i grew up in the shadow of the west pennines and it was probably only when I got to about 17, 18, that I started investigating a little bit further. But I just thought, this it can't be true. So I went into a local bookshop in Bolton and got a couple of books out. And then that's when I started to realise really what the, you know, that it was sort of a smokescreen that was based on conspiracy and paranoia and actually the seriousness of it. I got in touch with Adrian rather embarrassingly um, uh, through Facebook, actually. And I just got a message from this guy saying, I think you'd like my music. And I thought, oh, yeah, well, I... And, and he sent me a track over, and I loved it. And then the subject of the Pendle Witches came up, and both sort of had this passion to tell the true story. So he said, right, well, let's do something then. The A666, some call the Devil's Highway, and some call the Road to Hell. But I can't believe the devil came from Bolton and gorged on black peas astride a small stone elephant. And I don't believe there was ever a fan of Chris Rea. The album is a travel log. I mean, it is based on a day me and Adrian came up to Pendle and had a good old mooch around. Um, and then Adrian sort of went away and, and, and wrote from the experiences that we we had that day. I never thought I'd be in a band, and to be honest, when I recorded this, I didn't still think I was going to be in a band. And then we got a call saying they want to release it as an album, and actually, could we do a few gigs to promote the album? And that's when I panicked. My pal and I hit this particular road like Terry and June in a battered old Hillman Minx masquerading as an Eddie Stobart truck to give thanks and praise the Lord to those ladies known as the Pendle Witches. Those uneducated, mostly very poor, sometimes a little bit daft, but then aren't we all women who were by and large unjustly hung by cretinous agenda-filled judges and their potty reformation-obsessed word editors on the orders of the bully kings. Proof, if ever needed, that man can be a black dog. <laughs> Witch's sort of tragic story started with um, Alison Devis was out on the moor one day and there's a peddler had come over from Halifax who was selling pins and she'd asked him for some pins and he said no so she'd probably said oh on your bike mate which was taken as a curse he then supposedly fell down on the floor in extreme pain now if you read the description the gentleman had obviously had a stroke but it was taken that Alison had cursed him. So then she was hauled in with her mother and with the family and then other families who had been sort of connected with them had all then been accused of, of witchcraft. So that's how it started. At the time of the Pendle Witches, James I was in power and he completely believed that witchcraft was a threat and that anybody seemed to be, you know, a bit fiddling with twigs or anything like that, he would have them condemned as a witch, you know. You have to be so careful about how you conducted yourself. You know, she could be, as unfortunate these women were, murdered. Hang the witch or shut them up. It's a middle class vendetta on women who are better. Some little man who prays a lot 
If you don't believe in Jesus, don't think there'll be a Christmas. see very clear parallels with today. I mean, how people are sort of swept under the carpet if they don't fit in, if they're on the margins, very poor, sort of uneducated. We're not dealing with these people face on. We're just sort of pushing them, you know, in cupboards and closing the door and hoping that they're out of sight instead of dealing with it. In the album, it's about smoke screens, and I think what happens in this country today and throughout the world, you know, governments are very good at pinpointing people who are excused of being the root cause of things when it's not really, it's just to deflect. You know, we should never forget our history, and maybe we'll get out of the mess that we're in at the moment if we do that. One last spell I offer up Contains greens and worms and carrots 16th century Holland and Barrett Dear you Snap my neck and read goodbye Every eye that sees is guilty Of a subtle kind of cruelty <laughs> And just in case 1612 Underture should have crept under your radar It's out and available now now, there's a real buzz about Paul Thomas Anderson's new film, not least because it's loosely based on the story of L. Ron Hubbard, founder of Scientology. Mark Kermode.